good morning everyone so today's thought of the day is what makes you happy since happiness plays a pivotal role we should always do that would actually make us happy you scroll it down uncertain future chillens have rejected a new constitution but need to replace the old one so basically they have rejected a new constitution made by president gabriel boric but still they need to replace the old one yeah scroll it up chillen does decision to reject a new constitution that would have replaced the 1980 charter written under the brutal military dictatorship of general augusto pinochet could deepen the country's political division and throw its future into uncertainty so first of all what is dictatorship it is a form of government where a single individual possess all the powers and also no institution keeps its power in check here the people like they have less freedom you can say they have no choice of changing the representative that is what dictatorship is all about and uh, the new document voted by chile's 36 year old leftist president gabriel boric have transformed south america's most free market friendly country into a state driven rights rich uh, right rich welfare society so which grants the rights to the state and overall well being of the society yeah next paragraph but the voters seem to have concluded that the draft went too far draft went too far it means overreached or going too far so with almost all polls counted 62% of voters said no so majority of voters said no so according to that we can say uh, around 38% people said yes and their minority the constitution drafting process itself was the result of months long social and political struggle definitely making a constitution it's not a easy process it's a lengthy process we uh, i think we all know that in constitution is one of the bulkiest constitution like no other country possess such constitution like we does so yeah it is a very lengthy process Steel witness street rotter in 2019, triggered by a modest rise in subway fares. So, means the money that you pay for traveling on a vehicle, and subway fare me it's a charge for riding subway train. So, which prom- prompted then President Sebastian Pinera to promise to rewrite the constitution, despite the amendment, the. Pinochet era constitution remains a pro business pro market document restricting the state intervention in the economy so what is an amendment so basically it is thought of as a change or modification in a constitution in a particular nation that is what uh, an amendment is all about and the constitution remains a pro business pro market document pro means uh supporting the practice of business and is an economy that operates by voluntarily exchange in free markets and is not planned or controlled by any central authority resting state intervention it is means intervention means interference in the economy like the state state is restricted to interfere in the economy yeah next paragraph while chile has seen fast develop ever since its market reforms it has also grown into most 
unequal countries in the region leading to disquiet mr brick rose from this chaos so disquiet means unease and uh, mr boric rose from this chaos means uh, chaos means uh, complete disorder or we can say confusion next paragraph in this action campaign in 2021 he had promised a new big the referendum so what is a referendum it means a direct vote in which the people are asked to accept or reject a proposal so for example i am the leader and i am uh, initiating something and i am asking the entire country to accept or to reject it the referendum was best opportunity to rewrite chile's future but mr boric and his comrades have uh, seem to have lost the momentum lost the momentum means to lose uh, the contest or a fight or couldn't succeed since the people rejected it it lost the momentum the article 388 document promised to legalize abortion provide universal health care mandate gender parity in government empower labor unions and tighten regulations on mine it can't in so many things it legalize abortion it uh, provide it provide universal health care it empower the labor and so on it also sought to define chil as plurinational state just scroll a bit so what is plurinational it means a state large groups of people of different nationalities who make up 13% of the population so uh, the state that would recognize its 11 indigenous who make up 13% of its population so what indigenous means it means people who are generally who generally lived in that particular place rather than people who moved there for somewhere else like they are not foreign they are native people they could have their own governing structures and legal system this proposal began became the rallying cry of rejection camp which argued that the enhanced rights of the indigenous communities so they felt that the indigenous community they got powers and that is the main reason the rallying cry what rallying cry means to make people join together to support an idea which include uh, which included veto powers on big ticket project veto powers means the powers of the president to refuse or approve a bill or we can say Uh, a joint resolution and the limits the new constitution would place on security agency would promote anarchy anarchy means a political disorder due to the absence of government authority yes next paragraph rising inflation and military uprising by the mapuche community made it difficult for mr bor tell the proposals to voters chill is now back to square one so rising inflation means increase in price and litten uprising means aggressive rebellion or we can what do we say in the dohi yeah by the mapuche community made it difficult for mr bore to sell the proposal to the voters and chill is now back to square one square back to square one means back to where it started like we say na back then the old constitution would remain in force until chill's political class finds a way ahead mr bore promised to repeat the constitution process election to the constituent assembly and then preparation of another draft that is put 
kingdom which would take time so it all concluded that the old constitution will re still remain in force until the new one is uh, implemented and there will be then an another preparation for another draft that will be put to referendum that we said na uh, the direct vote made by people to accept or reject a proposal but all these things will take time so till then the old constitution would remain in force yes next paragraph the conservators and the centrists who ruled chile symbol of the dictatorship would try to maximize their interest in commissions so what is conservatism a uh, conservator so they are political philosophers like they stressed more importance in power they preferred gradual development but they always believe past should be respected they want gradual changes not the change that is uncertain so yes we we'll try to maximize interest in the coming elections but the political struggle could only make the political crisis worse as chilens have demanded the own constitution to be repealed and replaced it is for the politician to provide them a document that they would support for that start building consensus on the future country so as the people they rejected the proposal the politician should provide them a new document that would vote the people and they should start with building consensus which means a general agreement on the future of the country so now what is the tone of the editorial so can anybody who would like to say the tone of the editorial what a tone anybody it is like a analy uh, analytical hello author is trying to analyze the situation i thought yes correct so anybody else it is completely analytical okay so any doubts or we can stay no i don't have any doubt okay conclude it candy yeah uh, you can conclude it now so the tone of the editorial is analytical and if anybody who would like to explain any or is interested to read can read the majority of the citizens are right now demolishing the constitution they are against the constitution which they have made the reason behind this is chile has been a had been a sort of country has had been a sort of nation um if we if we see uh, there before uh, something like uh, 75 years before there was a constitution that they made the constitution was made by military first of all and it is it is basically the point of the thing that when military of any nation make the constitution they never gives the equal right to everyone never so you know the main concern of the majority of the people is to get the equal right equal right of the speech freedom and equal right in the properties as well uh, as far as i know the chile constitution is something like that that army can buy the land anywhere they have an upper hand over there 
even upper hand on the government as well so in 1980 there was a dictator augusto pinochet uh, he is the guy who had introduced this sort of constitution and uh, this constitution was particularly has entrenched a new liberal economic model which particularly promotes free market capitalism and deregulation and that means market in market capitalism and deregulation Capital, capitalist economy is something like when government is having an upper hand everywhere what government had decided that we have to invest over there they have to invest over there public has nothing to write and the major drawback of the capitalist capitalism is something like that that people pe- people can't speak uh, even even they can't utter a single word about it okay so basically this this struggle has been had been carried out from 2019 the public frustration over inequality bubbled over and due to this there has been a price rises in the uh, price rises in the whole country 3 million approximately you know 3 million is a huge number 3 million people start taking to the streets and they start making a campaign against the government on the twitter and on the, and all the other social media platforms as well so then they proposed the draft that we have there are there are approximately 154 delegate delegates would be there and we would scrap the constitution and we would make the new constitution but what actually happened is this new constitution is not fulfilling their rights of equality and uh, it it has been it has been uh, the critics particularly argued that the particular draft comp- document that is the constitution has been comprising of 388 articles but still there are some unworkable rights there are some inequalities issues which has been the major concern of the most of the peoples and the peoples particularly wants major economic reforms over there so that's why this sort of thing is happening over there and let's see what government do now this is the whole condition of the chile right now thank you